fabulous people welcome to the channel for all the babes who create their own life trends my name is Anastasia and today's video is perfect for everyone who plans on traveling to Italy especially if this is your first time and if you're wondering how am I qualified to give you this kind of advice as most of you know, or if you're new to my channel, you probably don't know, but I moved from the US to Italy many, many years ago. And please disregard my accent. It has nothing to do with my citizenship. I am a proud American citizen with Ukrainian roots who just happen to love Italy. I know that was a mouthful. So today I'm going to share with you my top Italy travel tips. And I promise by the end of this video, you will know exactly how to plan your first trip to Italy. Now, before we begin, please remember to smash that like button. And of course, if you're new to my channel and my vibe and the vibe of this channel resonates with you, please consider subscribing. All right, fabulous people, let's start planning. I recommend when you start planning your trip to Italy is to not pack it with too many different regions and cities. I know guys, it is so tempting to see as much of Italy as possible because let's be honest, it is one of the most beautiful countries in the world. But if you want to have stress-free, beautiful, memorable vacation in Italy, I truly recommend to focus just on a few regions and cities. And I know you're going to ask me, well, Anastasia, how many days do you think I should spend in Rome or Florence or Venice? I have a rule for that, and I hope you guys will find it useful. I always recommend to spend at least two to three days in bigger cities, and then at least one to two days in smaller ones. All right, my second tip has to do with traveling to Italy in August. And guys, I will never stop repeating. Please, please try to avoid Italy in August. This is not the best time to travel to Italy. This is probably the worst months out of the entire year to travel to Italy. And the reason for it is because during August, Italians take vacations. And it's not like in the States where we get a week off. No, guys, we're talking about pretty much the entire months off. And during the months of August, pretty much the entire Italy just shuts down and everyone goes to the beach. Now, you might think, oh, well, then I'll just go to the Amalfi Coast and enjoy the beach together with Italians. But guys, you have to keep in mind that when you go to the beach during the same time as Italians go to the beach, beaches are going to be all extremely overcrowded. So it's pretty much going to be impossible to get a sunbed. Everything is going to cost at least double most of the times at least triple it will be impossible to get a restaurant reservation and on top of that it's going to be brutally brutally hot and it doesn't matter which part of italy you will try to visit during the months of august be it milan be it amalfi coast be it rome it's just going to be hot now hear me out i have a bonus tip inside this tip and that is visiting Italy during the months of February. Now, I know you might think, February? Isn't it too cold in Italy? What am I going to do during the months of February in Italy? I know February might not seem like the most obvious months to come to Italy, but let me tell you, it is one of the best months to come to Italy. And let me tell you why. 
First of all, because most people think that February is not the best month to come to Italy, you will not find this crazy crowds all over the place. So pretty much no matter where you go, that place is going to be yours. So you will not have to stand in long lines. Everything is still open. So you will be able to get everywhere with ease. The second reason is the weather. You will not believe, but in February, we have some of the best weather that you can possibly imagine. It is not hot. It is not cold. Most of the time, we have this gorgeous sunny days. If you guys could only see what I see right now, there is just this gorgeous sunshine, blue skies, zero, zero clouds. It, the weather is just perfect. We spend pretty much every single day in February outside having picnics in Villa Borghese, going to the restaurants, enjoying outside. Guys, the weather is perfect in February. And of course, because there are not too many tourists during this time in Italy, all the prices are very reasonable. So you can get some amazing deals on airplane tickets and accommodations, which I'm sure are two biggest expenses when you plan your trip to Italy. So I strongly recommend to consider February when you start planning your trip to Italy. All right, guys, my third tip has to do with SIM cards. I know that is the question that everyone asks themselves or trying to find information on when traveling to Italy or any country. You're wondering, okay, should I get a local SIM card, which one should I get? Maybe I should just go with my cell phone provider. So then you contact, let's say T-Mobile, ask them, listen, what kind of deals you have? I'm traveling to Italy, etc. And let me tell you, if you plan on traveling to Italy, the best service provider is Iliad. It is Italy's best kept secret. Guys, I'm not kidding. Most Italians are switching to Iliad like it's going out of style. And the reason for it is because their prices are insane, guys. For about 7-8 euros per month, you will be able to have unlimited calls to US and Canada, of course, all throughout European Union. On top of that, you will have 50, 50 gigabytes of internet. Guys, it is truly the best cell phone service provider that I personally ever tried. And I traveled a lot, guys. You know, I went to Greece. I lived there for six months. And even in Greece, I was not able to find anything equivalent to Iliad. So I just kept Iliad the entire time. My next tip has to do, of course, with Italian food. And guys, throughout the years, I've made so many videos on Italian food. Everything from how to avoid tourist traps in Italy to the best tiramisu places, best gelato places, best street food in Naples, best street food in Rome, etc., etc. Guys, I've made so many videos. Definitely check them out. But one of the most important tips that I have for you when it comes to the Italian food is to avoid eating at the important sites. And it doesn't matter which city you're visiting, be it Rome, Florence, Venice, Milan, try to avoid eating at the main tourist sites. And there are so many reasons why, guys, is because most of the time the food is so touristy so mediocre at those places and the prices are just sky high guys you literally just paying for location so my advice is enjoy the view enjoy the sights and just have a drink there instead of the entire meal now a bonus tip inside that tip is that if you plan on traveling Italy by car, instead of having every single meal at a restaurant, stop by one of those panini places on the side of a road or mozzarella shops. And trust me, just trust me, there you will taste some of the best paninis, sandwiches, 
probably of your entire life. I'm not kidding you guys. And if you travel early in the morning and see one of those mozzarella stores, definitely stop by and there is a big chance that you will be able to witness the entire process making of fresh mozzarella and then you will be able to purchase it. And on top of that, most of those places always sell homemade wine, red wine and white wine, if it can get any better. So I strongly recommend for you guys to check those places out if you decide to travel Italy by car. Now, my next tip has to do with Italian transportation. What I'm talking about is, of course, Italian train system. And yes, it is so romantic and fun to travel by a car, but if you are terrified of driving in Italy, like I am to this day, then train is another great option for you. It's easy, it's fast, it's convenient, most of the trains, they depart every 30 minutes to an hour from, let's say, if you're in Rome, and I'm referring to Rome only because, well, first of all, I live here, second, it's my favorite city in the world, and third, because it's so central. But let's say if you're in Rome, trains to Florence or Naples or Milan, pretty much to entire Italy, they depart every 30 minutes to an hour so it's just so easy for you to come to Termini, book yourself a ticket and then depart from the train station and I love love train system in Italy because there you can enjoy snacks you can look out of the window and enjoy some of the best scenery it's just such a convenient way to discover and explore Italy and you don't have to deal with customs and checking in bags and extra luggage fees, none of that, guys. So definitely take advantage of Italian train system. All right, my next tip once again has to do with Italian food. Please, please do not assume that Italy is just about pizza and pasta. You will be amazed surprised that every single region in Italy has its own traditional food. For example, Rome is all about pasta. Pasta carbonara, amatriciana, cacio e pepe. If you go to Florence, it's going to be all about Florentine steak. If you love risotto, you definitely need to travel to Milan etc etc so make sure to do a very thorough research on traditional dishes of each region in italy you will be visiting now as an ex banker of course i couldn't just not mention credit cards and debit cards situation it's going to be very very quick guys and if you want me to go into more details on the subject then definitely leave me a comment below let me know and i promise i will it's a very good practice prior to visiting italy spain france or any country outside of the united states to notify your bank and to let them know that you will be traveling because some banks when they see you using your card let's say in italy they might think that this is a fraudulent activity and actually block your card now there are some banks that do not block your card but if you are not sure of the policy of your bank then it's just a very good practice to give them a call and let them know that you will be traveling now, the second tip that I have for you is when you're paying, be it at a restaurant or a store with your debit card or a credit card, and it asks you in which currency you would like to pay, be it USD or a local currency, you always want to choose local currency. Now, my next tip has to do with, of course, Italian fashion and Italian style. Make sure you dress appropriately for every place. Guys, you know that Italian style and Italian fashion are one of a kind. Here in Italy, people pay so much attention to the way you dress. And I cannot tell you how many times throughout the years I've seen people being denied entrance to the restaurants just because they were not dressed 
to the level of that place. As wrong as this may sound, this is Italy, guys. People pay so much attention to what you wear and how you wear it. And of course, as a stylist in Italy, I have so many videos for you guys on what not to wear in Italy, what to wear in Italy in the fall, what to wear in Italy in the winter, etc. So please take some extra time deciding what to pack for Italy. And my final tip has to do with just having fun in Italy and booking some activities. I know that still to this day, some people don't know that you can go on sites like Airbnb and book different experiences, fun experiences, unique experiences with locals. I'm not sponsored by Airbnb, but I do have my personal shopping, personal styling experience on Airbnb, as well as two food tours that my team hosts here in Rome. And throughout the years, I met so many incredible hosts from all over Italy. And I just know that with Airbnb experiences, as well as other platforms, I'm not just promoting Airbnb experiences. This is just one of them. You get that local touch, that kind of personal approach to discovering Rome and maybe even doing things that you didn't even think about doing because trust me, the creativity that you will find on those platforms is incredible. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this quick and easy and hopefully informative Italy travel guide. I hope you learned a lot today and I know those of you who plan on traveling, to Italy, I know you guys cannot wait. This is truly one of a kind country, one of a kind place filled with incredible people, food, history, arts, just anything that your heart can possibly desire. Now, if you have any questions for me when it comes to planning your trip, then definitely leave me a comment below. Let me know, you guys know, I love my community so much and I love talking to you guys. All right, I'll see you all in the next video and don't forget to smash that like button and of course to subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't done so. I truly hope to see you all in the next video. All right, guys, until the next time. Ciao, ciao.